Hi, I'm Dave Scadden. You know, there's one hatch that occurs every year on still water that I look forward to more than any other. It's the damselfly hatch. When these dainty little zycoptera hatch every spring, the fish just go crazy. Damsel and dragonflies both come off in profuse numbers virtually worldwide every spring, and the fish are waiting for them with great anticipation. We have had the chance to fish the hatch extensively this spring with some great success. One of my favorite techniques is to fish an intermediate or type 2 uniform sink fly line with one of my two-tone damsel nymphs trailing behind on a 9-foot tapered leader. Once I make my cast, I use my fins to effectively cover the water and vary my retrieve. One to two inch strips impart action to the fly. I then vary my strips until I find a combination that produces strikes. This presentation is extremely effective, especially when the damselfly nymphs are moving from their deep water sanctuaries into shallow water to hatch. This same technique can be equally effective for tackle anglers. A seven foot leader and a clear plastic bubble trailed with a damsel nymph allows spin fishermen to cover large tracts of water very efficiently. On one of our photo shoots, I noticed something that I thought was worth sharing with each of you. The fish had shut down completely on nymphs in deep water and blind casting the shallows wasn't producing many strikes either. I could see plenty of shucks on the grass stems and adults were flying everywhere, but the fish weren't visibly working anything. I assumed that it was just getting late in the day and that they had just shut off. Out of the corner of my eye I saw a single grass stem move, ever so slightly, then another, then another. Working on a hunch, I began false casting, watching for another grass stem to move. As soon as I caught movement, I laid a cast two feet past the stem and started an erratic retrieve. The water exploded and I was into a hot 16 inch rainbow. The fish were working the grass flats looking for damsel nymphs that were clinging to grass stems under the surface in preparation to crawling up the stems and hatching. This was taking place 15 inches under the surface, so the only movement was the grass stem moving as the fish plucked the damsels from the stem. Naturally, we began stealthily cruising the flats on our outlaw escape flow tubes, scanning the grass for movement. We were rewarded with some amazing fish that kept our rods doubled until dark. What a fun day to share with my sons, Bridger and Dakota. Subtle patterns like this happen all around us when we're on the water. I encourage all of you to study your surroundings closely. Don't be afraid to try new techniques and take advantage of opportunities that are often right before your eyes. Magical things happen while you're on the water. This has been Dave Scadden wishing you great float trips and big fish.